a lot of women in the arts, whether they're in fashion, photography, visual, performing, or any other creative form. They're doing wonders with their hands, voice, and brains. We have featured many of them on the program, but we'll be showing you some more on today's edition of Art House. A warm welcome to the show. I'm Melinda Akinlami. <laughs> Before I put anything down, I visualize it in my head. One of these days, before you're old and tired and weighed down by responsibility, go away somewhere and read. She has been described as an African artist with a prolific appeal, but getting here wasn't a stroll in the park. It took determination and loads of support from her mother. In our first feature, Ronke Aino Scott will be showing us how she persevered at the Weave & Co. Gallery in Lagos. Women have been involved in the arts throughout history, but most often than not, their works are overlooked or undervalued, evidence of the stereotypes about sexes brought into the arts. Such gender biases have not reduced the drive of some of these women. One of them is Ronke Aino Scott, who has forged on with multiple exhibitions to her name. <laughs> Posted at the Weave & Co. Gallery, and she preserved, is only the second solo exhibition by this artist and tells the life story of Ronke Aino Scott, since she chose to become an artist. She has come to see the art as a most amenable vehicle for translating inner thoughts to outer realities. It's a story of the journey of my life. Since I have desired to be an artist, the journey has not been easy. But through it all, I've always found strength to continue to move on, that irrespective of the challenges I have faced, I have continued to persevere, I have continued to forge ahead, and I have not allowed myself to be discouraged. Most of the works are about the woman, especially the African woman who gets to face multiple challenges and yet strives to come out on the other side victorious. Most of the works on display, they are rendered in pointillism and very colorful. And they are mostly centered on the African woman. Because I believe that as an African woman, we always have one or two challenges that you, you face. And um, this is to encourage anybody that has desire to pursue his or her dreams to forge ahead, irrespective of what you might come, discouragements that will come here and there. Find it within yourself to forge ahead. The exhibition is just to motivate people that challenges will definitely come. In life, in journey of life, you always have challenges, but find it within yourself to forge ahead. I believe that women have so many beautiful things about them, but most times we, we don't get enough support, we don't get enough encouragement. And I, the African woman is, is it's, it, she's an embodiment of strength, if properly guided. There are so many things beautiful that we can do, but we need help. We need support. We need people to come around. We need encouragement from the government. We need encouragement from corporate bodies. We need encouragement from the family. And when you have the right support system, you can go far in life. Ronke is a graduate of the Obafemi Aoulou University. She has modeled her works in the mold of Bertie Morisseau, a female French artist who was impressionist in her approach. Ronke loves to capture people and their ways of dressing, eating, walking, and other activities. Very beautiful work, particularly for the fact that she is able to represent the African culture in a way that is very artistic. So she has killed it for Africa. So we need more of this 
in our environment to promote what we, rep what we represent in the African cont continent. What I see, it's impressive, it's beautiful. The stylized version of painting she does is, um, it's, it is inviting, it draws you close to come and look in detail what she has to offer. It's, it's really nice. I've gone around to look at the works and very, very detailed work, you know. The artist I know, is uh, her background is graphic. She's a graphic artist and she has aptly demonstrated that in her paintings, paying attention to details. And you know, usually when graphic artists paint, you can be sure you're going to get works that are perfectly done. Perfectly done because they don't assume anything when they are painting. The colors are very matured, wonderful colors. And they are also well-framed, well-framed, you know, you can see that's harmony in between, between the works and the, and the frames, you know. Nicely presented. It's a good outing. Ade Runke tried her hands in baking and journalism, but found out that art is her first love. She loves to create her works with pointillism method because she believes it makes it easier to express issues and matters affecting everyday living. I painted mostly on canvas. Most of the works are rendered in pointillism. Some of them are also painted using a mosaic, that is broken lines, to achieve something colorful and beautiful. If you look at the particular work they're looking forward, you can see there is 23 African women, beautifully dressed, looking forward, moving ahead. That is the whole purpose of this exhibition, to encourage people to forge ahead, irrespective of whatever challenges they may come in contact with. In whatever challenges may come their way, find it within your heart. That inner strength to move ahead. Ronke is a prolific artist whose works tend to be simple, yet with a mass African appeal. Her subjects are diversified, but mostly African women. As an artist, Ronke is very versatile. She is able to express dexterity with the use of oil, paints, pastel, acrylic, gouache, and even pen and ink as medium, and her techniques lean towards abstract. I must confess that we are all impressed with her works. She's an impressionist in style, and that is one thing that uh, has really enticed us to her. We are quite impressed with the way she has placed her forms, and you look at her work, there's a lot of light in her work. She's an artist that loves to work with light, and that's, that's great. Even whether it is with uh, her mud colors, whether it's with the mixture of her several colors, you'll find out that there's so much light in her work. And that's something that uh, is endearing, because you want, you want to, even you who wants to have such works, you want to have something that would give you light in your life. And that's uh, something that I enjoy in her work. And again, you find out that her hand is very strong. For somebody who hasn't been in the art for too long, she's, 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 uh, she's, quite, she's quite impressive. For Runke, art is evolving. She sees it as an ever-changing and intriguing course of action. She looks forward to the excitement and challenges she's bound to face in her art walk of perseverance. Music